what is going on guys it's your girl janika a and i'm back with another video for my lovely Valentine's. okay i want to see what is going on how you guys been holding back i mean holding up oh i said holding back so have you guys been holding back my lovely fire signs because i meant to say how how have you been holding up and I'm, i said holding back so have you been holding back huh so we're gonna see we're gonna jump right into it again this is a reading for my lovely fire signs spirit what do you have for my lovely fire signs So, my lovely fire signs, you have sadness and isolation, which is the three of swords. Talks about heartbreak. Sadness and isolation. All right? I'm speaking to someone that is healing over something that had them in a the dark. Something that made them feel like they could not come out of the dark. I see someone actually finding the light at the end of the tunnel and realizing that there is no justice that's being done. Cooped up in your feelings and not having a solution to how can you feel better. I'm speaking to someone that is realizing that they have to make a move before they get swallowed up in a dark hole. All right. The next card you have out is... The seven of pentacles. You guys have been waiting for something, awaiting results. You guys may have been, uh, you know, what I get right here, because you have the knight, the nine of cups, which is a wish fulfillment. It means your dreams are coming true, right? So I feel like I'm speaking to somebody that was waiting, awaiting results on a dream that they have regarding love, a dream that they had regarding something that was going to emotionally fulfill them at the highest form you guys were waiting waiting for something my lovely fire signs awaiting results you were awaiting to see what the outcome was going to be and the outcome was heartbreak the outcome was you being forced to release and move move on right we're gonna get into the tarot and, and see but yeah i'm speaking to someone that was dreaming about something that was manifesting something that really um made them happy and emotionally fulfilled this was a dream come true this was a wish and they was awaiting something but you know they this you know honestly was a wish you guys were manifesting something that you guys dreamed about that you always wanted that 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 you always felt like was something that you've desired, right? Wish fulfillment here. But you've been waiting, 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 awaiting results, awaiting, awaiting, awaiting. Did you even take action? Because it's, you're just waiting, awaiting results, awaiting results. Nothing fire signs is gonna come to you if you're just waiting, 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 waiting. And then this is what happens when you wait too long, when you don't take. Ooh, remember when I said holding back? Remember when I was supposed to say, how are you guys doing? And I said, holding back. You guys may have been holding back on action, taking action. Instead, my lovely fire signs, you was awaiting, you was waiting, you was waiting, you was waiting, you was waiting. Thinking like things were just going to happen out of the Whitworks. Not realizing you was in between two things, making yourself stuck and stagnant. Awaiting results, not taking action on something that you really, 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 really dreamed of now that's a clear message for one of you guys fire signs you was waiting for a dream to come true but you did not take action and the result of you not taking action and just waiting 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 resulted in the three of swords which is heartbreak loss now you are forced to have to dig yourself out of a hole and release and find light again because this made you this this caused a lot of heartbreak when you realize that what you was waiting for was not coming in maybe because you guys delayed it maybe because you guys were not taking action that's what i'm strongly getting 
That was the result. The result was you not getting what you want because you didn't go after it hard enough. And now you have them to see and heal from this heartbreak. A lot of secrets at the bottom of the deck. We're going to see what that's about. But moving forward, I feel like the biggest lesson for my lovely ear signs regarding this reading is not waiting. Be like Nike and just do it. That's what I'm getting. The spirit of procrastination and fear was around you here. And it, and it caused you to, to delay or miss out on something that, that you always dreamed of. And not only did you miss out on that, but it caused you a great deal of sadness and isolation. Just by awaiting results. Spirit, what do you have for my lovely fire signs? What do you want to tell my lovely fire signs? Look. Isolation. Feeling restricted. Feeling bound mentally. You couldn't make a decision. You didn't know how to move forward. Maybe there was something around you that had you so bound to where you couldn't move. We're going to see why is this here. What do you have for my lovely fire signs regarding this? Eight of swords. What is this bondage? Love. You felt, you felt bound in a relationship, my lovely fire signs. And you might feel like you missed out on a new opportunity. You might feel like you've missed out or you want to apologize to someone for not taking action. Because the Page of Cups is all about you know, love, apologies. It's all about brand new beginnings, embarking on something new. This is your dreams right here. This is your aspirations. Oh. You need to break a karmic cycle. The devil had you in a spirit of stagnation, awaiting results. The, the, the devil had you bound to a relationship that caused you to miss out on some opportunity here, my lovely fire signs. You were connected and felt so restricted because you were. You was bound to maybe sex, addictions, money, ego in this relationship that caused you to now feel sad and isolated toxic patterns need to be cut and removed out your life before you be at the bottom of the wheel and having to complete cycles all over again you're going to have to you're going to receive karma for some of you guys ooh all right, I just got the message for my lovely fire sign. So you've been surrounded by isolation and sadness because you did not choose to take action on your dreams or something that really, really brung you a lot of joy and you decided to await results. In the midst of you deciding to wait results, you missed out on your dreams or something that really made you feel fulfilled, like again I said. And due to this, this was because of a relationship that had you restricted, that had you bound, that had you full of confusion and feeling like you couldn't release, you couldn't move, you couldn't do anything. It had you bound to money, it had you bound to love and sex, it had you bound to ego and had you bound to an image that wasn't you it was all bad these are people places and things that hindered you from not taking the next step and you know why because the enemy seen that you were so close to your dreams the enemies the enemy the devil seen that you were so close to your dreams coming true fire signs for some of you guys 
you've been in a toxic relationship that had you bound and restricted and because you did not take that leap of faith and really work on and try to master your, your, your dreams and really work on your dreams and your new opportunities, this is karma. Karma is coming around. You are on the bottom of the wheel because you didn't take that leap of faith. You waited. So now this is just simply karma. And I feel like the karma is hitting you by the energies of isolation and sadness. All right? Uh, that is how you are being shown to not do this again. Your karma is, is sadness and isolation. Your karma is restrictions because you stayed in a toxic relationship that you had served your purpose in already this is the, you know you're receiving karma i can't even tell you no way other than this you know this is the will of fortune it's all about growth and expansion it's all about turning the will in your favor so that way you could be on the top of the wheel you're learning lessons here you you didn't learn your lesson you stayed in a relationship that didn't serve you any good, but rather restricted you from um, from a lot of things, your dreams and your goals and what made you fulfilled. You 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 chose a relationship. You chose a relationship that wasn't healthy instead of your dreams and your aspirations and what you was trying to manifest here. That was going to put you in a position of emotional fulfillment. The cups is love. And being that you didn't do that and you decided to stay, because we all have free will. Because you did decide to stay awaiting results. You, you was awaiting to see what was going to happen. If you was going to break up or if you was going to release yourself. You was just awaiting. You was awaiting this term for you here. And as you were awaiting and, and didn't take action and removing yourself out. You missed out on a dream come true. Some of you guys. Could have had an opportunity to have kids. Could have had an opportunity to invest. Everything. And you missed out on an opportunity because you decided to await results from a karmic relationship that you had no business being in for this long. Because clearly, look what it was doing to you. And simply the karma is you have then to accept the fact that you missed out on a dream come true. And now you are just learning that through sadness and isolation, you realize that you will never make that same mistake again because it caused you a lot of happiness and something that could have been your dream come true when it comes to love. All right, that's what I have for you. I don't even think I need to go any further. All right. Oh, look. Death at the bottom of the deck. See, so you see how spirit talks to you. So you wasn't supposed to be in this relationship because of this, how you felt. You were supposed to move. You were supposed to move forward and peace and put it in to this karmic cycle you were supposed to put an end and move forward with peace can y'all see that hold on you were supposed to put an end to this because of how you was feeling it was it was restricting you it was delaying you from your blessings instead you chose this karmic cycle and you were supposed to move forward in victory spirit was going to back you up in victory because you chose yourself and you were supposed to put an end complete end to this relationship but you didn't and now you are being forced to deal with devilish ways toxic traits just for you to to come around again and see if next time you are willing to learn the lesson and release yourself from drugs sex emotions egos image facades you were supposed to put an end you were supposed to put an end to this relationship. I don't know how clear it could get. And really go after a dream come true. 
You did not. I can't believe that. I don't know why. And I don't even want to sit here and play the blaming game because everybody has a lot going on in their life. So all I can do is give you this reading and, and tell you that things are going to be okay. You are just going through karma right now. So that way you won't make the same mistakes in the long run. All right, that's your reading, and I hope that help. I hope that you learn next time that you never should stay in a relationship like this that has you feeling restricted when knowing you were supposed to put it into this. This person was a karmic, had you restricted and bound. Now you are isolated. You are isolated and lost with sadness, not able to move forward. Now you just contemplating about what, what could have happened if you would have just took action instead of awaited results. That's what I have for you, my lovely fire signs. I love you, and I'll see you in the next reading.